Hello, this is Larry with Man Cave Mayhem. Today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Nelson Rig Trails and Adventure Tail Bag Divider. I recently purchased the Nelson Rig Trails and Adventure Bag. It's listed as an LG 1055. That's the largest of the three, I believe. And in in that tail bag, I found that I most of the items that I put in it were all over the place. I love the tail bag, it's fantastic, it, it worked fine on, on the trip that I took it on recently, but I was running into problems with my camera gear, everything was a mess, it, was, it, was, it looked like uh, spaghetti in there. So what I wanted to do is purchase the dividers, and at the time, they didn't have them in stock. Well they finally came in, and the divider, looks like they're designed for camera gear, but we'll just open it up and see what, what we got in this box. Now, and they were relatively affordable, I believe. I, I picked them up on sale and they were, I think it was $24 for the, the, the dividers that go, go in that tail bag, which uh, I thought was pretty reasonable considering. And um, we'll go ahead and get this box opened up and see what they brought us. So as I get, go into this box, you can see that it's packaged like they always package stuff in a bag. <laughs> But let's rip this out of this bag and see what we got here. Now in the past, like I said, everything in my, my tail bag was all over the place. Now this is set up just like a standard camera bag uh, divider would be. It, there's Velcro sides on it. And you can adjust these dividers to however you like it. And it looks like this liner just drops in. So it looks like a pretty good setup. They also brought sent me a brand new Nelson Rig catalog for 2023. Hey, that's pretty nice too. Gotta love that. Um, but this is what it looks like here. And as I said, everything was a mess in, in my tail bag. I'll kind of show you what it looked like. Take a look. So that was my reason for buying this. Because everything was such a hot mess in the tail bag, I needed something to organize all my camera gear and everything. Plus when you're going down rough roads, you don't want stuff banging in. Matter of fact, my drone controller had a protective glass on it and it cracked the protective glass on the drone controller. It's a good thing I had a screen protector on that remote for my drone or I would have been out a little bit of money. But the screen protector saved me. I'm hoping this will be a good answer to my problem as far as keeping things separated. And as I said, you can adjust it accordingly to the size of the things that you're putting in there, which I think will work out great for me. Let's get out to the shop. Let's get out to the garage. Let's get out to the motorcycle paddock. Let's get out to the home away from home. Let's get out to the place where the wives aren't allowed and see how this fits. Alright, so here's the divider. I've taken everything out of this tail bag and uh, we're going to go ahead and put this in. It's kind of a rigid foam, vinyl covered foam, and then obviously the dividers are in it. Um, the only thing that I see that you might want to move out of the way are the straps that you use to tie items down, or maybe not. I don't know. You may want them up on top. I'm going to go ahead and rip these back. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I would just leave these straps um, that are in the bag, in the bag, you know, and just kind of go with it the way it is because um, I don't know that you want to secure anything down with those straps when this is in there. Maybe, maybe so, but let's start out just by putting this thing in and see how it works. Uh, it is going to take up a small amount of space just because of the thickness of the sides. But. We'll work this down in here and see how, how it looks. So far, <laughs> this is gonna make a big difference, I think. It's gonna kinda eliminate all that clutter. It's nice and rigid, and uh, yeah. So let me uh, get you a little closer here so you can actually see how this thing looks. Now I don't have it all set up yet or anything. I will set it up and I'll show you kinda how that looks after I get it set up. But you can see these rigid sides here 
Um, they're tight. Now I've got this zipped up. It's open all the way. So let me bring it down so you can kind of get an idea of that, how that is gonna work there. So there we go. And you can probably tuck this all down behind this until you're ready to open that back up. So we'll get that down there. So you can kind of have an idea what this thing looks like once it's all in there. So yeah, the sides will only go as high as the the uh, the lower part of the bag when it's fully extended, obviously. And it's kind of buckling a little bit, but I, I suspect once you get items in there, it's not gonna do that. These all, all these squares pull out. Now let's get some items in it and see how it looks. Also, if you haven't yet, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Check us out at Instagram at mancave underscore mayhem. Now let's get some stuff in this bag and see how she works. All right, so I got a DJI Mini 3 Pro drone. I've, I've had problems when I was putting this drone in this tail bag because everything was scattered all over the place. Now I've got some kind of order, some semblance of order at least. So what I'm hoping to do is be able to keep things in a neat and organized way and still be able to access everything on the move. Before I was trying to jam my controller into my drone bag, now I just got the drone bag here. I can Velcro this open and get to it very quickly. I can grab this controller. I can grab my baklava or whatever you want to call this thing if I need it. I can grab camera batteries and I still have an extra divider if I want to get creative and maybe put another doohickey in here. This is gonna work out really nicely, and for the price, it was well worth it to protect my $1,000 drone, uh, a little bit more padding, just in case an uneventful dirt nap happens to take place. This is what I'm hoping for. So I hope this helped you make a decision as to whether you wanna purchase this divider or not from Nelson Rig. You may not need that. You may not have a bunch of camera gear. You may just want to put a bunch of camping crap in here. Then screw the divider. But it's nice to have something that you can put in this tail bag and, and know that it's going to be protected if you crash or it's just going to be there and in the spot that you put it when you put it there. Not You don't open it up and all of a sudden you come out and go, whoa! You know, you got a surprise. It's like a grab bag. You're going in there blind trying to find everything. It's not even worth having a bag if you can't find anything you put in it. Anyhow, I hope you guys like this video. I hope it helped you. I hope it helped you make a decision for this Nelson Rig bag. I like the bag. The bag is sturdy. It's very useful and uh, it makes a lot more space on the bike for other things. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Check us out at Instagram at mancave underscore mayhem. And just remember folks, I'm just a man in a cave causing mayhem. Thanks again for watching.